Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up, everybody? Big Hurt, Prison Talk. You're tuned into another episode. Got OG Badger here with me. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Go check out the website, FreshOutSeries.com. And um, if you want to do some private consulting, hit us up at FreshOutSeries at gmail.com. Now, we get a lot of questions, but, you know, some of these questions are kind of like redundant. But I had a question for Badger because, you know, he lived life in prison from a different perspective. So it's always good to have another man's perspective. And um, I want to ask him, so what do you do if disrespected? What do you not do in a chow hall? And what do you as far as expect as far as respect from other other inmates in prison? All right. So, okay. The joint's really fucked up, so, because me and you got a problem, you disrespected me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to deal with it right there and there. Like, even if you got six-year homeboys, we're just going to do this right now, you know what I mean? I'll get beat up, go to the hole, you know what I mean? You lose your six, so when it's time for it to kick off, because what they want you to do now is fucking... But, I mean, we've been taught this since kindergarten. Somebody fucking disrespects you, you deal with it right then and there. So you, you skipped all this in life. You didn't take care of all that shit. You disrespected yourself and ended up in prison. You know what I mean? So now you got to figure out what to do when somebody disrespects you. Normally what they want us to do is, I got to go tell my people, and then my people are going to go tell your people. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I skip all that bullshit. Let's just get me beat up, get where I got to get, you know what I mean? And then I could deal with the repercussions. Because if I seriously feel that disrespected, you know what I mean? What's the sense? So this is how it's going to go. You disrespect me. I'm going to go, Billy, I need help. He was mean to me. So he's, he's got, Billy's going to go talk to fucking... Whoever you got going well, who's for you. Rep of that? Right. Yeah. You call him rap, I call him rats, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call him. So he's going to go talk to him, and then fucking what's going to happen is a squash duck that's going to get put out, and then fucking your own car. Maybe not there. I mean, they, inside you still look at me like I'm a piece of shit anyway, and I ain't going to do nothing anyway. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, well, let's just get it done now. You know what I mean? But generally what happens is a squash duck it is issued because everyone's got jobs, PIA, IDL, you know, yeah. fucking A dog. Was it worth it all of us? You know what I mean? Nah, it wasn't. That's why I took care of it myself. You know what I mean? If you guys got to pay the repercussions, that's fine. But then what's going to happen again is if you ain't somebody up in the ranks, a squash duck it's going to get issued. Therefore, you know what I mean? You're, you're better off just taking care of it right then and there yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Fuck that yard. Get to one where motherfuckers will back you up. You know? Uh, what not to do in the chow hall. So if you're new, you just roll in, fuck, got your little nervous tray going on, and don't know where to sit. <laughs> so in, in CDC, you know what I mean? I can't speak for the feds. You will look around. You will see that the different cars are eating together. You don't go sit at a table with another race ever, never, ever. No, so, no not you, even in the feds. Not even in the feds? Yeah, yeah. I didn't you ain't fucking around because uh, you sit at the wrong table. I've seen motherfuckers get their face slashed. For sure. Yeah, they'll fucking just come up behind and slash Oh, shit. man, and don't yeah. be fucking smacking at the table. Oh, yeah. That's a for sure yeah. backhand. You're going to feel like a bitch the entire time you're there. Cause and fucking, don't sit at a table. Just because one of the dudes, oh man, you can sit with us. Never. No. <laughs> Dude, what, the, what the, you, Who told you you he, can sit here? Don't go for that one. He's just Because I've seen a dude too. like, oh man, you can, you can sit here. And, oh, you, and the big homie was like, who the fuck is, who told this dude to sit over here? Right. This dude who told you to sit there ain't really got no pool. He don't, he's a nobody. He, just a guppy. He just moved in. Right. So don't get caught up in that shit. Oh, uh, okay. So. Oh, tell him about even like, uh. Cause you know too, we talked about that before. Is like every like the food. You know, you gotta make sure like everybody in the chow hall how they're dishing out the food to say you know you're not. They don't fuck around with the food portions. So that part has been taken care of in the state, I guess. In, 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 in the feds too. I'm just saying like everybody gets four pieces of toast. 
you're not gonna get this motherfucker if you gave him four two pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a fair like some are like, hey, you know, you're not gonna give if I gave this this guy four, I'm gonna also give you four, yeah. no matter the race anyway. Yeah, yeah. Respect. Just keep I'm, shit everybody going, gets right. the same, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. You're not so, fucking around, I'm not gonna give him one piece of water mill, I get a homie. It's blocked off now and there's a tray slot that you slide the tray out. So you don't see anybody back there, but w- that's what we do. And then sometimes, you know, we're feeling froggy that we throw two pieces of chicken on yeah. there and cover one with yeah, mashed yeah, potatoes. Yeah, 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 and whoever yeah, gets yeah, it, yeah, it's the yeah, fucking yeah, lottery. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It ain't yeah. like we're trying to hook our homeboy up. Yeah. So if you see him get two pieces of chicken, and me get one piece of chicken, man, just stay in your fucking lane. Let him get his two pieces of chicken because it was a lottery. Yeah. His homeboy and, didn't put it there. And, and uh, see, at Long, at, where I was at, USP Long Park, there was, uh, you know, I worked at Toast Crew, but there was like, like an That's OG. That's why you got four pieces. <laughs> there, no, there was like an OG white cat there, like big, but everybody, like Long like, the, you, fans are a little bit different, a little bit more interaction, but not, you're not sitting at their table. But at the same time, like, the homie might be like, okay, you, you go through this line. And then you might try to bust a move over here and see if you can get another piece of second chicken. Second trick. Yeah, you second trick. You know, you try to take your dick khaki off real quick to do this real quick. Good luck. Because, you know, <laughs> yeah, because it's like food. You know, you're trying to get that chicken. Sometimes guards, they look over at the other line and let you slide. Sometimes they'll be like, Yeah, and the get too your many ass. people here tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too many people. Exactly. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a hamburger meal or something. Right. So, you know, shit like that goes on. But um, for the most part, everybody knows how to respect everybody in Chow Hall. Wellington beef patties, you could probably get in line three times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And make sure. So, like, put out the respect you expect back, but don't expect it back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. always keep your respect level, no matter what the next person's respect level is. Because either A, I'm saying... Let me and you again, right? Fucking, he's not putting off the respect that I'm giving to him, so his people are gonna get at him. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be between us. Mm-hmm. His people get him and be like, "Hey, man, you need to quit fucking with them woods like that or whatever." You know what I mean? Them skins like that, whoever they are, we everybody knows who everybody is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You talking to them Muslims like that, you're gonna get your shit pilled. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, I've even seen it like where dudes like, I I used to live in Huntington. You know, a lot of skins out there. Right. Okay. And I've been a lot of different places in California, so. I'm on the yard, but dude see me talking to the wood. Because he's like, oh, man, I see you working out. He mentioned something, you know, from a distance. And he's like, oh, yeah, you from, oh, yeah, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so. And then dude, like, like that quick, hey, man, what you doing talking to him yeah, in the yard? Yeah, conversation's you know already I mean? gone on too dude, long. Dude, you can't be talking to them like that, boo boo bop. Yeah. You know, even though... You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I was talking with him, but... We have the same interest. You guys both have the same interest. We know some of the same, yeah. We still have some humanity in us. Some human human characteristics, yeah. Some human, yeah. But But that's the That's going to get squashed out, fucking... Bro, we catch you talking to that dude again, and we're fucking peeling your shit. That's how fucked up it was now. what do you got in your locker right now? You owe us Just that that. quick, when he see me talking, all he has to do is like, oh, you know, I've seen Honso talking... Who was talking to so-and-so? That quick. So it spread it from this dude just seeing it to telling his homeboys... Now, 30 other dudes know about it. Now they're like, what, what's up with you, man? You've already put hands on me three times, bro, poking me in the shoulder. My people are going to get at me now. Just that quick. Wham, just That's like that. Just that quick, man. So, you know, you got to... Hey, it's... thank you, Doug. Uh-oh, <laughs> did I put hands on you? Yeah, just that quick, man. So it's, it's so yeah. fucked up, man, because you're... Like you said, you want to be human, and you're like, it's so much of that shit that's been removed from that whole prison culture and the ignorance, man. So it's, it's fucked up. It's exactly as they want it. It's exactly yeah. as they want it. Yeah. And, and all you guys, I love how fucking often I get called a racist piece of shit on the comments, you know what I mean? Because I know my truth. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a shit. And I work in treatment. You know what I mean? And I fucking, I don't give a shit what color, creed, race, any of that. You know what I mean? So, but inside... That's not how it would be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I seen you hurt, I might throw you a wink and a yeah. nod. But that's where, it, and yeah. it, it wasn't a cute wink. It was a, hey, bro, how are yeah. you, wink? You know what I mean? And just keep pushing. And it changes as you get to different spots. Like, for instance, you might have been at a USP with a dude, but if you get booked all the way down to a camp, you see a dude. Oh, it's totally like, different. Yeah, totally different. Oh, totally man, different. you know, it's your girl getting a ride with his girl because it's different. But in the USP, never would that have happened. And it's a blessing that I've been able to meet this man on the street and and share our experiences because it just goes to show you man how fucked up our system is in california you know it, it period it, the system is just fucked up so why would you want to go to prison and subject yourself to this type of fucking ignorance man we've been boys since day one huh it's a you long time I mean? it's been going yeah. on um, nine years nine years bro yeah. you remember when i first so. i had just got my own apartment that i was sharing with somebody that was nine years ago 
we met in the parking lot over at Ralph. Yeah, you don't want me to tell you tell them what happened next. When <laughs> 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 he got caught. <laughs> so it, it's been a long time, man. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a long time, man. It's been a good time. Yeah. So. You know, and it took me a while to get him to come out here on the show to share with you guys, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit subscribe. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.